What's up guys? In the world of smartphones, big manufacturers try to differentiate themselves with a unique design of the back panel and the camera setup. We e seen squares from Apple and Google, a rectangle from Samsung, a circle from OnePlus and Moto, or scattered shooters from Nokia. But it looks like Huawei is trying to do something different. Anyway, if you want to get video like this, sub to this channel will be phenomenal. Now, let's start the video. So, according to an official teaser, the Huawei Mate 40 lineup will feature at least one phone with an octagonal camera setup on the back. Judging by the render, the eight-sided array will occupy a large portion of the phone upper third, the render DOES and give us much info on the actual sensor arrangement or how many shooters will be present. Huawei fans will likely be hoping for the P40 Pro Plus excellent pen camera setup. If we look a little closer, we can also see a physical volume rocker, meaning the company is dropping the idea of virtual buttons that was introduced with the Mate 30. <music> Huawei is unveiling the Mate 40 series on October 22nd, and the rumors have been piling in. One of the most anticipated new additions will be the Kirin 9000, chassis based on the 5 nanometers process and bringing a built-in 5G modem. Now, we get our first benchmark of the SoC through Geekbench which showcases its might, a Huawei device with the NOH NX9 model number, which we presume is the Mate 40 Pro, managed a 1020 single core score and a 3710 point outing in the multi-core department, to put that into context current flagships, like the Snapdragon 865 powered, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, manage around 900 points in the single core, test and roughly, 3100 points on the multi-core test. The new Kirin 9000 chassis has a CPU, with a base frequency of 2.04 GHz, and reportedly, comes with an overclocked ARMA 77 big core. Taking at over 3.1 GHz, we can see the listing also reveals 8 GB RAM and Android 10 on the software side. So what do you think about it? Are you interested to buy the Huawei's Mate 40 Pro if yes? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you like this video, sub to the channel will be make my day, and my name is Arjun, this is Digital Outside, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'd like to say, cause I've